Hey everybody. So a few people have asked me to chime in on this whole Phil Anselmo Nazi salute thing. And you know, I'm sure everybody knows exactly what I'm talking about. The end of Dimefest, Phil doing that Nazi salute, the white power thing. You know, it, it's really hard to see your heroes disappoint you. Um, there's really no good that could ever come out of something like that. And, you know, I got to give Phil some credit. He did uh, make an apology video. He manned up and said, okay, I fucked up. That was uncalled for. You know, please forgive me. And, you know, I've got no reason to not forgive him. At least he admitted his mistake. Okay, it takes it takes a real man to admit when you are wrong. That's a tough thing to do, so credit to Phil. And it's not like he's the first guy ever to do that. I mean, like, you know, Exhibit A, the uh, Metallica Nazi salute picture. You know, like I said, I've never really had much fucking use for racism at all, myself, personally. Uh, that's one thing I've always loved about metal is it's incredibly inclusive. It really doesn't matter your skin color, your sex, you, what part of the world you're from, what religion you're from, what what ethnic background, that none of that shit matters. It doesn't matter. I'm like, hell, the most badass metal singer to walk the planet is freaking gay. It doesn't fucking matter. The only thing is, can you play and can you play with passion? That's what matters most in metal. Is it legit? Are you giving it everything you've got? Is it heavy? Those are the things that really matter when it comes to metal. And I, and I love that fact that you can go pretty much anywhere in the entire world. It doesn't matter if it's Canada or Brazil or India or China or Japan or Indonesia. You know, there's always going to be, you know, four guys in a garage somewhere with the amps cranked up way too loud, pissing off their parents. And that's fucking amazing. And I love that. And, you know, I love the fact that there's metal bands everywhere. It doesn't matter. Like there was a metal band in Iraq. There was, uh, they did a, they did a documentary on them, those guys a couple years ago and they wound up moving to Syria. And I've often wondered what happened to those guys. Did they get out before the shit hit the fan? Because I would love to do a record with those guys. I really would. Just to see, you know, what kind of music can then can they make considering, you know, the shit storm that they've lived through. I think that would make a really interesting record. Once again, it really doesn't matter what color you are if, or if you're a man or a woman. I think everybody is welcome in metal because it's not about skin. It's about how can you, how, how hard can you play? Okay, so just to recap, Nazi salute at the end of Dimefest, pretty fucking stupid. Apologizing for it, admitting your mistake, pretty fucking cool. Racism really doesn't have a place in metal because the only question that should matter over everything is can you play?